Good morning, bro. In this video, I'm gonna teach you a really simple technique that you can use in order to be more attractive to whoever you want to attract in life. That may be more women into your life, it may be more friends, it may be more like opportunities, it may just be like other humans in general that you want to attract into your life. And it is one of those things that it's so simple and you inherently kind of know it. However, people, overlook the importance of it and people don't use it enough in their own lives and I'm going to teach it to you today and teach you how to remember to do it if you're looking to be perceived as a more attractive person and it's very very simple so I don't think this video is going to be too long but it's essentially to do what I'm doing in this video. As you can see I'm quite white, my body language is quite like expansive and open and that is exactly the secret that is exactly the technique that i'm teaching you in this video is open body language but people don't like think about this enough people don't incorporate it into their life enough on a daily basis so in this video i'm going to give you like some kind of reminders of how you can be more open because the truth of it is bro the opposite of open is closed and i'll, I'll give you an example of what closed and body language would look like. So I'm gonna cross my legs first of all, like this. I'm gonna fold my arms and I'm gonna put my head down like this. Like <laughs> if I stayed like this for the rest of the video, would you actually stick around and watch it? Because the chances are you much preferred the first two minutes of this video where I had open body language like this. Because it's more inviting. You feel more comfortable and more like welcome in this video when my body language is like this and so getting down to the the kind of reminders or the nitty-gritty detail something that i constantly have in my mind is to show the palms of my hands that sounds ridiculous i know that sounds like a bonkers thing to say but you do not realize how much of an effect it has on other people when your palms are in view because it's, it's like, when they're down like this, it's like you're almost hiding a part of yourself that is very integral. Like your palms or your hands are probably like one of the most integral parts of your body in order for like, you know, gripping, gripping things, shaking hands, uh, holding stuff, all that kind of thing. So if you are the type of person who often tends to like hide their palms, like you might put your hands in your pockets or, you know, kind of put them like this or cross your cross your fucking arms like a little beta and um, bro you're just you are unattractive and people never realize this on the conscious level people never think like i'm i'm unattracted to that person because i can't see the palms of their hand that's right i don't think i've ever met anyone who like consciously is aware of the fact that you can't see their palms but <clears throat> it's why when you watch the likes of me and when you watch the likes of like all these other fantastic speakers they never sit there like this. They never sit there like, you know, fucking hunched over like this. They're always quite wide body language, very open, their palms are on show. And the palm thing, like, it's not, that's not a secret as in like, oh, if you just show your palm, like don't walk around showing your palms to people. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is having that in mind that you can, like you want to show your palms, the, the part that most people are uncomfortable with sharing because most people put their hands in their pockets and whatever if you keep it in mind that your palms are like an integral part of your being and you walk around with open body language the palm thing is like a reminder to have your body language be open like you can physically actually see in this video how comfortable i am right here because like it's just a comfortable position. It's comfortable to take up space. It's comfortable to sit back and, you know, just have a, it's almost like a fireside chat here. It's almost like I'm talking to you as if you're just one of my mates. Do you know what I mean? And to be honest, you are. Well, no, you're not really, but we'll, 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 we'll act as though you are so that we, we all feel comfortable and present and welcome and so on. But yeah, that's the first like kind of way that you can remind yourself to keep open body language is to make a conscious effort to have your palms on show and the second reminder is like whenever you're sitting somewhere in public or whenever you're 
out and about. Like, rather than making yourself as, taking up as little space as possible, don't be afraid to take up a bit of space. And this goes for guys and girls. Like, if you just want to be a more attractive person for, like, attractive towards opportunities, attractive towards other people, attracted towards just, like, the universe, the universe in general, whatever, I, I don't really like that airy fairy shit. But anyways, if you just want to be, like, more attractive and more open to experience and people and opportunities like the more space you take up the more chance it is that you're gonna like you know brush against someone who might turn around and be like oh you're a really attractive person hello my name is john what's your number or some shit like that you know what i mean whereas if you're like constantly trying to dodge people and you're constantly trying to take up as little much and as little space as possible People are, just won't notice that you exist. And the, tr the truth of it is, bro, like you want to be known. You want to, you want people to know you exist. You don't want to walk into a room and nobody even fucking bats an eyelid. Like you want to make, you want to have a bit of a presence. If you've watched this far into the video, I know for a fact that you want a bit of presence and you want a bit of recognition and so on. And this is, these are secrets to being more attractive and having more of a presence in a room, especially as like a masculine man or masculine woman if that's what you are but yeah so those are the first two tips in order to kind of remind yourself to have body that la open body language and also you need to develop a like an inner self-esteem where you feel good about being open <clears throat> you feel you don't feel as though you're imposing yourself on other people just because you have like wide body language because the truth of it is bro a lot of people feel as though they're like imposing themselves on other people, like other people's lives, if they have, you know, open body language. But the thing about it is, bro, you're, it's not really imposing, unless that person has, like, unless the people around you, like, don't be on a, a fucking public transport, man spreading, like, really, really wide and making it uncomfortable for people. But, bro, the, the, the truth of it is, like, most people actually like people who take up space and actually enjoy feeling someone else's presence because it's such a rare thing nowadays like everyone who walks around with their airpods in and they're looking down at the floor and they're kind of you know just proper unconfident so you need to develop this like inner self-esteem where you're like you know what my presence is actually a present to the people around me and you need to develop a an understanding that you're not a bad person. Like, you're actually probably quite a good person. Developing that inner sense of, like, love and compassion and self-esteem, that is how you feel comfortable having wide, wide open body language. Because if you try to just have open body language but still feel as though you're imposing yourself on other people, then there's going to be, like, a cognitive dissonance there because you're going to feel like, oh, shit, I shouldn't have wide body open wide open body language because i'm i don't love myself so therefore how could anyone else want to be around me or love me or like me or whatever so you it a lot of it is actually about your mindset and understanding that your presence is a present unless you're a shit person and if you're a shit person well then probably work on that first but uh yeah i'm trying to think are there any other little secrets or little kind of not secrets but more so like tips and techniques you know like this the simple stuff that you can implement right now i want to be clear like this video is a, a very practical one as if these are things that you could do right now like after you finish this video you can start doing these these techniques that i'm sharing with you and there rem remember that like don't walk around like an idiot like putting your hands out like this so people can see your palms that's not what i'm talking about what i'm talking about is like that's a reminder for you to have more open body language because people are scared. Like we live in a world now where people are scared to make the first move. Like we live in a lonely world where people are scared to make the first move. And it's not helped by the fact that everyone walks around with fucking AirPods in and, you know, like they just, they clearly don't want, or they think they don't want human interaction because they're so addicted to their phones and their airpods and the fucking tiktok and all this shit that they spend their time doing but if you can go against the grain and you can start like 
actually having open body language and inviting people into your space. That's a beautiful thing, man. That's what makes people feel so happy. I have some friends with whom I practice open body language and we, we practice, look, we call each other out on it even sometimes where like one of my friends might have like closed body language if we're talking about something that's kind of, you know, uh, it may, may, makes them feel uncomfortable or whatever. And I'll call them out. I'll be like, look at you, like with your fucking closed body language, you little pussy. Like, come on, do better. Do fucking better. Like we, we want to feel connected. That's what humans want right now, especially nowadays, man, where everyone is so disconnected from real life. Everyone, nobody has like real deep emotional bonds and connections. We need to start practicing this, practicing this as a society. So if you've watched this far into the video, please make a promise to me right now. Drop, drop a comment right, right below this video saying that you promise you're gonna start having more open body language when you go about your day to day. And this isn't like, don't take this as just being, you know, it's all just about being more attractive and it's about getting more women and all that kind of thing. It's not, it's really not. It's actually about making fe people feel more comfortable around you and like inviting them into your space and your experience and, and sharing connections with people. I know I started off this video by saying like, oh, this is how to be more attractive. And it is, like it is more attractive when you're, you have like wide open body language. But the key message isn't really about being attractive. It's way more so about like developing an understanding for connection and like how to have more real life experiences with people that you realistically bro you want to have like that's what you want in life you don't really care about like numbers in your bank balance or your followers on instagram or subscribers on youtube or whatever like yeah they're nice and they're kind of like they're symbols of success but bro what really matters is like connection to people so please start implementing these techniques that i've, I've shared in this video and have like have this uh, the way I developed my reminders for keeping body language open is like I had almost like a timer in my head or an alarm in my head where like every, say every two hours or like three hours of the day, <clears throat> I would almost have this like alarm in my head that would go off and it would be like, look at yourself right now and check your body language. Is your body language open or is it closed? And if it's closed, open it. This was just one simple fix that you can like implement into your life just straight away today. But if you're interested in hearing more about this kind of thing and like, you know, human nature and psychology and all that, drop a comment, let me know, because I know reams about human nature and psychology and all that kind of thing, because it's what I've been interested in my whole life. So let me know in the comments if you want more of this kind of video and I will make sure that I fulfill your desires. But anyways, I think I'm gonna leave it there, bro, because I don't want this to be too long. I don't want it to be too mansplaining. I don't want it to be too like, you know, fucking over the top autistic level detail. So I'm just gonna leave it there, bro, because that's all that I've got for today. So until next time, bro.